So yeah, this is from this is from 1995, and the resolution reads: So, Vaikunta is that place in which no one ever falls down. The living entity belongs to Lord Krishna's marginal potency, to Tashta Shakti. On this, we all agree. Okay, stop. Got it? On this, we all agree. The living entity is to touch the Shakti, marginal energy, and no one falls from Vaikuntha. Right? Now, I was very happy to read that. Please continue. The origin of the conditioned life of the souls now in this material world is undoubtedly beyond the range of our direct perception. We can therefore best answer questions about the, that origin by repeating the answers Shlub Prabhupada gave when such questions were asked of him. Now, quote, wait, before you read the quote, again, mm. Vaikuntha is that place from which no one ever falls down. Vaikuntha means the spiritual world. Vaikuntha also includes Goloka. Goloka is the highest realm within Vaikuntha. It means the spiritual uh, abodes of Krishna, Vaikuntha. The Brahma Jyoti is not called Vaikuntha. It has its own categor 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 play categorical place. Uh, and um, I'm going to get back to that in just a moment. So, it is resolved in this resolution. Let us simply answer the question, where do we come from, by quoting Srila Prabhupada. And they give here one of the uh, best, I think one of the best quotes that really kind of packs it in there very concisely by his divine grace as per the origin of the jiva. So this quote is from Srimad Bhagavatam Purport 428.54. Shri Prabhupada writes, The original home of the living entity and the supreme personality of Godhead is the spiritual world. In the spiritual world, both the Lord and the living entities live together very peacefully. Since the living entity remains engaged in the service of the Lord, they both share a blissful life in the spiritual world. However, when the living entity, misusing his tiny independence, wants to enjoy himself, he falls down into the material world. End quote. So, that sounds all very good. That sounds good. What does it sound like? It sounds like that, well, the eternal living entities who are eternally living with Christ, you know how long eternity is? <laughs> that means since forever and beyond. All of a sudden says that they become envious. Right? Did it say envy? No. Misusing their tiny independence. Exactly. They want to enjoy and they fall down. But wait a minute. They just began the resolution by saying, Vaikuntha is that place from which no one ever falls down. Mm. Now Prabhupada is saying, one, it's the original home of living entities and Krishna. And that some living entities misuse their independence and they fall down. So one then naturally thinks, oh, well that means a cowherd boy or a gopi or I don't know, one of Mother Yasoda's friends or Nanda Maharaj's relatives all of a sudden becomes envious of Krishna or somebody in the Vaikuntha court of Lord Narayan on a Vaikuntha planet. They become envious of the opulence of the Lord and, and therefore they, they fall down. So these two, this resolution has a whammo head-to-head -head contribution, contra, uh, contradiction. No one falls. We all agree upon that. Next quote. By misuse of independence, one falls. So, which, and if you say, that's it, that's all that you quote, well, guess what? That leaves a lot of people hanging, and I'm not inventing this. So sometimes I'll invent my own questions to write an article, because I know the thoughts out there. But I'm telling you, this leaves people hanging. People are not stupid. Uh, and nowadays, I think people s are tend to want to scrutinize and study deeply many of the things Prabhupada said, more so than the first generation of devotees who just kind of take it for granted that they're Prabhupada's disciples and they're chanting 16 rounds a day and they're following the four eight principles and everything's good. Well, this other generation, they're like, they're like being asked, uh, you know, well, they've seen gurus fall down a lot of things, so they really look to Srila Prabhupada in some cases in a more like desperate way than the first generation does. 
you see. Not exclusively, but it happens that way. And when they do, they see apparent contradictions. Srila Prabhupada himself is saying in the Srimad Bhagavatam in the chapter of Jaya Bijaya, conclusion is no one falls. Here he's saying misuse of independence. So what do we, the disciples and followers of Prabhupada, have to do? Just make these quotes? That's it. Figure it out yourself. Here's the quote Prabhupada said. Here's the quote. Sri Maharaj, he said, we said, we read something here, it was very subtle just a minute ago. I've, I've, I've lost the place. And he was saying that we, we have to go deep into these subjects. We have to maintain a certain discrimination, discretion here. So I think this statement of Srila Prabhupada begs some clarification because it's contradictory to the very beginning of the resolution which says we all agree no one falls from Vaikuntha. Well, if you don't fall from Vaikuntha, you sure the heck don't fall from Goloka. Well, that's also a contradiction of what Prabhupada said in the Jay and Vijay episode where he said nobody falls in the spiritual world. Yeah, so, but then he's saying some living entities. So where are those living entities in the spiritual world? Brahmano hi pratishtaham. Krishna says, I am the source of the Brahman, which is the source of all living entities. Mm. And this Tatasta Shakti and other places, writings of Bhakti Manoj, Bhakti Siddhanta, and Sridhar Maharaj, this Tatasta Shakti is also described as being the Brahma Jyoti. Mm. 